Thousands of protesters have been demonstrating since mid-August, saying it's inevitable the Dakota Access Pipeline will leak. Doug Krogos, the Standing Rock Sioux's Director of Water Resources, also has doubts about the safety of a crude oil pipeline water crossing. Breakage of the pipeline will contaminate our water resources uh, as a whole. Uh, the groundwater and the surface water. Krogost is concerned that even with double blocked shutoff valves, oil pressure sensors, and other modern technology designed to prevent spills, a catastrophic event could still occur. Modern pipelines are now bored underneath the bed of rivers instead of laying pipe on the river bottom and trenching sand, soil, and rocks over it. These bores are far safer than the uh, prior technology, which was to trench it. So we think that overall this is an upgrade. Regulators say the advanced new process makes it far less likely for a rupture to occur. And these kinds of projects are the best way to, to transport the crude oil long term. The State Water Commission did a scour analysis to determine how deep the bore needed to be for the pipe to not impact the water. That number was 24 feet. Dakota Access exceeded that by almost four times the amount, deciding to bore 92 feet below the bottom of the Missouri River. This project is being designed and built uh, the best that it can be um, so that it does not threaten North Dakota's number one fresh water source, the Missouri River. Um, you know, th that's, 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 our, uh, that's our yardstick. That's what they have to, to meet in order to get an authorization, and they, they did that. Despite new technology and state-of-the-art safety features, Crow Ghost is still opposed to the project. It's not worth putting a pipe underneath the Missouri River and, and thinking that there's possibility of human error. It's our job to ensure that these permits do not have a negative impact and do not damage the environment. Even though the pipeline passed the scrutiny of the permitting process and a court challenge was denied, the Army Corps of Engineers recently decided to re-examine the project with another environmental impact study, which means the controversy over the safety of Dakota Access Pipeline will run into 2017. Reporting for NBC North Dakota News, I'm Alyssa Dickert.